The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass today, a ministry of the Passionist community. As always, my name is Father Paul. It is November 18th, the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today is a sponsored Mass, and our sponsor for the Mass today is Michael Carpinelli. And his special intention is for his mother, Mary Grace Carpinelli, on this, the fourth anniversary of her passing. So please keep Michael and Mary Grace in your prayers as we celebrate today. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out, turn to the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and let us begin our celebration. the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. As we come together today, our gospel tells us to be ready. Ready because the Lord is near. We ask God's forgiveness for anything that separates us from God or one another. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. And you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Oh, Lord, my alarm. 
allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds, with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch comes, becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But on that day or hour, but of that day or hour, no one knows. Neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's a good day. Because I was, that first reading says, at that time there will arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. Yay. It's the sort of thing to be able to say that, yes, goodness is coming. Get ready. Whether it was the Lone Ranger or Roy Rogers or any of the heroes, heroines, Things are going to get better because we know how easily and quickly could all go downhill. But today, as the days grow longer, you hope, out, you hope that things get better, whether that's physical because you're lying in bed or you're stuck someplace, you haven't had that phone call from the friends or the family, whether well, it's just that uh, you're studying for exams and getting ready for that end term. Whatever the deal is that makes you feel stuck, there's hope. 
And so one of the things our readings today says, yes, God is on the way. The Lord is near. And sometimes we forget that. And one of the things that's also necessary is to be able to not only remember that, but also what do you practice? How can you be that peace be bringer? How can you be the person who is helping other people to have that hope that goodness is coming? We recognize that uh, you know, we have something good in our faith. The faith that says that God is present, that God is going to see us through this, and there's hope of the future. But one of the things about it is everyone doesn't have that. There's people who do and people who live such a life because they feel that nothing's good ever going to happen again. But we remember that God is there with us. From a little kid we learn, now you lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. One of the things that we have to do is to be able to help other people in the name, in when they go through physical, or emotional, or spiritual hardships, to have that sense of hope. We come together. You're watching the Mass today, attending Mass in your parish, celebrating your rosaries and novenas, not only for your own needs, but the needs of all. Let us be people of hope, people of peace, and people of gratitude. Because even though we may not always feel it, God is good. God loves you. And let us share that with one another. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who receives from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. God is always willing to show us the path of life. So with faith, we ask God to hear our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for victims of abuse, especially those children abused by members of the Catholic Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the sponsor of our Mass today, Michael Carpinelli, and we remember his special intention for this Mass, Mary Grace Carpinelli, Michael's mother, on the fourth anniversary of her passing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners, that will be placed next to the altar, and for Mary Hill Carosa, R.N., and Bruno Camisa, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Eternal God, in your great mercy and love, hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the real though far off hymn that hails a new creation. No storm can shake my inmost calm while to that rock I'm clinging, since love is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? May my sisters and brothers and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the church. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the, pri the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, 
partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nicholas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. To save his command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace and love be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. Be still, my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change, ye faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Be still, my soul, the hour is hastening on when we shall be forever with the Lord. When disappointment and fear are gone, 
Sorrow for God, love's purest joys restored. Be still, my soul, when change and tears are past. All safe and blessed we shall meet at last. safe and blessed we shall meet at last. And let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery Humbly employing, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for everyone for joining us for our celebration of the Sunday Mass today. Uh, special thanks to Michael Carpinelli for sponsoring the Mass. Uh, and please know, Michael, that we will keep you and your mom on this, the fourth anniversary of her passing in your prayers. I certainly know what it's like uh, to lose a mother. My own mother's anniversary just a few weeks ago uh, was seven years. Uh, thanks to some of our friends here at Immaculate Conception Parish for helping us celebrate today. Uh, this coming Thursday is Thanksgiving, so I hope you have a wonderful celebration wherever you are. You can continue to send in your uh, prayers and petitions, uh, both for the month of November and for Thanksgiving, uh, so that we can place them on the altar. Uh, the 93rd volume of the prayer guide will begin in just two weeks, so if you haven't received it yet, uh, please give, it a, give us a call, and if you have never received it, please give us a call or, or give us a note on the website and we'll make sure that you get one. Uh, please have a great week. And until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the King. No more crying there, we are going to see the King. No more crying there. The proceeding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.